everyone, Silverin here, and welcome back to RimWorld. As you can see, I've been busy. I set up stuff for my colony to do. And part of what I did, which I've learned from playing on my own a bit, is add steel walls around here, because if I don't, the cold from being in the tundra is basically going to kill everything, all my people. And from here we will keep going. I'm changing it up. I'm getting rid of these little traps I put down. I'm putting in steel turrets. Uh, these are solar generators. These are two wind turbines, one going each way. This is a room of batteries with a switch that I can turn on and off. So what I can do is it can save the extra power and then I turn this off and then those batteries won't get used unless I run out of sunlight. And I could just do that by turning that on. Um, I set this up so that, um, you know, this will be an enclosed space that they can walk into. It won't, it'll still be 32 degrees and you can see the temperature down here in the lower right hand corner. And you can see right now it's the same indoors and outdoors. So with these steel walls and with all this power put in, we'll be able to get uh, heat going, which will actually keep our people warm. Um, I'm hoping that these are going to grow out of ideal temperature. We'll see. Uh, I'm hoping they're going to grow. If not, then we're going to have to set up some sun lamps, which are down here. In miscellaneous? Yeah, here's the sun lamp. And if we do need to set up a sun lamp, what I'll probably end up doing is making each of these their own room with a heater and a sun lamp. Um, because otherwise there's no way in the tundra to get these crops to a temperature that they will grow in. Uh, so now I think... Yes, I think I will let this go to work now. Hey, what are you doing? No, 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 do this. See, we're gonna do this, do that first. We really, really need a fire. I mean, really, really, we need a fire. Ugh, we need 20, 12, 12, we need 12 more. Bath, bath, not good. I also set up all of these bushes to be harvested, haul the rocks. Some more places to be mined. I set a bunch of squirrels and rabbits and things. So you can see it has a crosshair on it to be- oh! There's another one! Um, to be hunted because those are gonna be very, very needed. One good thing about being in the tundra is that- what is this visitor? Seems to have items to trade. Um, is that this food? You know what? I should remove some of these things. Um, the food storage does not have to be refrigerated because things will just stay frozen. Let me make sure I have her set for food. Okay. Okay, if you're gonna clean, you're gonna come out here and trade. What do we need and what do we have? We can always use more medicine and components. And we have plenty of silver and there's still some to mine. So... yeah. This guy should be happy. He's getting some silver. Here, in exchange, I'll give you some food. Because you don't appear to have any food. So have some food. Here you go. Hopefully food I hear gets better soon. 
She should. I mean, all she has is bruises and stuff, so... Let's see, is this stuff growing? It is. Excellent. So it'll grow just very, very slow. But maybe we'll get a harvest. Before... Um... The fall begins. Okay, did I... Yeah, I have these all got all these guys on work schedule and stuff, so What's wrong with you? Are you naked? You are completely naked. And I don't think I have any clothes for you. Let's see. Nope, I don't see clothes. I see steel and I see <laughs> we have someone who's sneaky. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. At least not until we start killing some of these bunnies and things and get some hair uh, leather. check because some of them in just the brief time I've had the game going now have grown up. Watch it. If it gets to major, if it goes from minor to major, we'll ha we may have to give her a peg leg. Because infection is no good and we need all the people we can get. Uh oh. Oh no. Where is she? This is not good. This is very not good. Where are you going? Oh, you attack the snow hare. You do that. That'll just be food for us. Good. Good. Don't attack Futa. Huh? Yeah, run away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kill animals for us. That's great. Awesome. Oh no. Don't attack Snowball. Oh no. Uh. Um. Oh, incapable of violence. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. I only want you to punch her. <laughs> no! Don't kill. S oh, thank God. Saber. <sighs> okay, where is Cole? Cole! Why are you sleeping out there? Is it because I have no... no get the heck over here. Okay, I need a bed for you. That's the problem. this so the door will close. Thank you. Because then that'll be at least a little bit warmer. 
Oh, I'm sorry, this is not connected. I meant to connect that. Let's connect this power conduit. Like so. Where are you, Futa? You were over here before. Where are you? There you are. Oh, she can't haul. Okay. <sighs> but she's got no choice. She's got to be our hunter. She's the only one who will hunt. why we really need Marl, because I think, yeah, she's a really good fighter, so, worked as a doctor on a medieval planet. She firmly believes that most ailments can be cured with a little blood letting. She, has, she was also a master anesthetist, developing a special technique. medicine plus one okay well she's also a doctor which we could use for sure yes I know you're in a poor mood as long as you have no as long as you have no major injuries okay, so far so good your table. Good. Good. We really, really need that. These are frozen, right? One season. You know, honestly, I don't want to just, because I don't want animal seed in there and stuff, but what I'm going to do is put a vent here to the outside. you'll be able to sleep not out on the floor. Ground. I guess it's the ground. It's not, it's not a made floor or anything. <gasps> oh, yay! Yeah, I know. I know we have people with hypothermia. There's nothing I can do about it right now. There you go. Now it's yours, Cole. up real nice. I 
don't want to lose this person because I think she's really useful for this colony. So right now we're otherwise doing okay. Okay, let's back out so we can see what everyone's doing. Futa? What happened to Futa? Oh, she got bit. You know what? Can can you use a gun? You have no shooting skills. I'm gonna give you a survival rifle. Let's get back over here tomorrow. Well, maybe she'll beat the infection. Major untreated. Cool. I know, my house is so tiny. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Maybe I can move this over here? No, I'd probably put the research table in there. So, it happened that I accidentally leaned on the mute button. So from here on out, I will simply be commenting on something I've already played. So that you guys know. Uh, exactly what I was thinking at the time. Uh, we recruited Marl. I'm adjusting her work schedule so that it matches what I've done with the other people. Actually, it happens to uh, match Joops, so I could have just uh, copied hers, but didn't think of it. She actually has pretty good stuff on for the weather, which is cold. And she will be our new hunter. And let's see what else. Handler. I do think everyone should do uh, a little bit of everything that they can do, especially if they have a passion for it, because they're going to learn faster then, anyway.
I do like that we have a pretty balanced party right now where uh, you have people with different talents and so you don't just have one person doing everything and that really helps a lot. I think she's hunting already. Oh no, that's Futo. <laughs> she didn't hit the rabbit at all. All those shots was just a big waste. But they get hurt less if you give them a gun because they're shooting from afar. So if they do go after something, they're less likely to just end up in peril. And I had to retell them to make food because the fire went out and the characters are dumb. So unless you tell them to do it, they won't do it. And you don't want them consuming raw food because they will get food poisoning more frequently. And they'll just be happier if they're consuming a meal. Nope. Can't chop that one for wood yet. Oop, that one I can. Yep, that one. A few others. Oh, someone's throwing a party. Jupe is throwing a party. So we're gonna make sure everyone goes to that, because they get happiness buff for that. Go to the party, everyone! Come to the party! There you go. Happiness ahoy! Look at how happy they are. I wish we had clothes for Jessie, because right now she's just naked, so anytime she goes outside she instantly starts freezing. Oh, Marl is slipping on the floor. I need to make her a bed. And they've already got the steel walls up. But it's still not quite enough for that area that I want. I want that stuff to be frozen and it's freezing out. But, I think I need more vents. And then I changed my mind. <laughs> I was gonna make that wall steel. Or like, take it out and replace it, but... I didn't want to do the corners. I already did that. Put in the walls. <laughs> I should be less spastic with my mouse. I try. I think I will take out that double door. Psychic drone. Oh, females. Which is 90% of my colony right now. Lovely. Rabbit! I'm sorry, not rabbit. Squirrel! Squirrel! Hunt the squirrels. Hunt all the squirrels. Need as much 
animal meat as possible. Just feeling terrible. Yeah, Jesse, I think it's because she's a pessimist. He's just always going to feel terrible or be more prone to feeling terrible. Put him in bed for Marl. <laughs> Mad animal. Ah, oh, it's just a squirrel. The turrets will take care of it. Oh wait, I don't have turrets yet. Huh. <laughs> Squirrel's after her. She's a good hunter too, so... build those stupid walls because right now my food is just gonna rot is Huda gonna do it and Marl is still sleeping on the floor because no one's built the bed Hi. but overall I think things are going really well I want to put in uh, a wall a wooden wall because if I don't and I dig far enough, the roof will collapse and they could kill someone. I don't want Fuda to die because she's our main miner. Got plenty for her to do. We're gonna get lots of steel. Because I think that almost that whole mountain over there, that whole section is going to be compacted steel, which is really good. We have components. Mental state days. Ay. Jesse again. Man, she's outside too. So she's going to have hypothermia. I can't do anything about it. When they're in a daze or berserk, you, you have no control over them at all. Tailoring bench so that we can uh, get clothing going. I gave Fuda a, a steel knife. So that I could give Marl the survival rifle because right now she just, sh I mean, she's a good hunter, but she'll be better with the survival rifle. Yep, see? Ta da! still not getting cold in there, it's unfortunately. Even with the steel wall and everything. I was gonna get rid of it, but I left it in for now because I thought, you know, there's two doors and it's more insulation. But I, changed, I actually am going to take out all that wood in there. Because we, we can use that for cooking and stuff, so. Yay, Marl has a bed now. I'm 
so glad we have a dedicated hunter. It's so useful. Optimist, feeling good. Just good health. I don't want to hunt the buffalo, but I think I'm going to tame them because they're Um, they grow wool, so you can and you can use the wool to make clothes that's really warm. So I'm just gonna mark them all to tame, and if we get some, we get some. Hopefully, we will at some point. are 15 days and it's the 8th so we're a little over halfway before it starts getting really cold. The tundra does get really cold. And I'm going to put the, the animal sleeping spot at the foot of Bed. I think that's Jesse again, yep. Jesse again. <laughs> At least she's kinda sorta inside this time. Battery breakdown. It's fine. We don't even have electricity in yet, so it doesn't matter if they fix it or not. At least the <laughs> Sleeping room is really warm. Oh, now the mad animal. We can chuck that. Don't need it anymore, or we won't need it. Only 72 percent. You can. We can harvest, but you know, eh. Harvest the bushes. <laughs> I forgot to for to tell it to bring me to the spot. It'll be okay. everything. Oh, that's the mad animal. Maybe, uh, maybe she tried to train it and it failed. My two very capable ladies attacking this muffalo. Jupe will run away because she's, she's non-violent, so it's fine. No, no, Snowball. 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 Get away. Go back inside. Ah. I need a pet zone. I need like a, a zone to keep them inside when there's danger like that so that they don't get killed. I mean, right now I only have Snowball, but Snowball is small and easily killed, so I don't want her to get killed, and Jupe would- or not Jupe, um, Futa would be very sad. 
need a new one. Inside. Indoors. Indoors. That's right. Animals indoors. And we're gonna name one not that one. Outdoors. <laughs> oh, outside. Okay, so I did indoors and outside. Go figure. My brain is weird. rocks and stuff my marked but I guess it doesn't really matter but how are they gonna get in Make sure Snowball stays in until the muffalo is dead, because we do not want... I really dislike that when they have guns, if you don't like tell them to come closer first, they won't, they won't fire at the animal. <laughs> Badass Fuda is just whacking at her. Whacking at it with a a knife. Boom. Dead muffalo. But food will be okay. It's just some bruises. You are free. I have no idea what you just did there. need for snowball to be restricted. I'm actually gonna end up restricting these meals because I don't want them to eat it all. We need to have more left over and we got plenty of meat right now so I'd rather them stack that up and then eat what remains instead. Oh, Cole and Fuda are getting married. So I need a marriage spot. Put it inside because I don't want them to be hanging around outside. Very cool. It's so cute. I love that there's these little details in this game. Yep. There's Futa. Working away. I just realized that that's not compacted machinery anymore, so we're not going to get components out of it. And before I... Oh, yay! Stone cutting! We got stone cutting! What do I want to do next? Hydroponics is probably the most useful, but we also need to be able to get metal out of these little the pieces of slag that are around the map. So maybe electric smelting is a good good way to go. It'll take a long time, but I think it's worth it.
Devil Strand, I think, is a, um, you can use it to make clothing. Which is something we really, really need. So let's do that. Because we really need clothing. Especially Jesse, who has been running around mm. naked this whole time. Ugh. Now we gotta raid. <gasps> oh my god, it's Blitz! Blitz is the, 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 the YouTuber that I found this game for. The YouTuber is Blitz Kriegsler, and this character was named after him. I don't know if he looks like that or not because he doesn't use a face cam, but. And I don't know if his name is Sean or not. Because as far as I know, he's kind of careful about that stuff because he's got a, f a wife and a kid and stuff. But that's really cool that I got him on my map. I'm going to have to show it to him. I'm still wondering if there's a way to capture these guys. I've seen a couple of videos where people did um, capture raiders instead of just killing them. But I haven't managed to do it yet, and I wonder if there's like... I, I just didn't do it in the right order, you know? Like, disease. Parasites. <laughs> but it doesn't say that she has them, so what the heck? Now it does. I don't know why I didn't say that she had them before. She'll be fine. I don't think that will kill her. Even if it's untreated. I think it would take a long time. We'll get her treated. Oh, shoot. She's gone berserk. <laughs> and we got Blitz coming in for the kill. And, uh, Miss Berserk over here is gonna help us, so that's great, right? <laughs> It's like perfect timing. What a stroke of luck. Good. Now she's not in a mental daze and Blitz is down and dead. Uh, I would have liked to have him. That would have been that would have been neat. But he was a raider and I don't know how to capture raiders without killing them yet, so Boo. Jupe is coming to save her. Oh look, we got a muffalo! Somebody tamed a muffalo or... Yeah. No. Well, yeah, we do need a party spot, but I need... I think I want another animal sleeping spot? For the muffalo? And then... I thought maybe they could go outside. Put a bunch of them. We don't want the muffle sleeping inside. That's just silly. The muffler will eat the, the hay there if it's available. I might have to make a kibble spot for the muffalo at some point. later when all we have is is made food and there's no grass change snowball to Fuda since Fuda gets a, a debuff for not being the master of a bonded animal and snowballs as trained as he's gonna be so or she she's gonna be so she might as well be on Fuda we lost our fire again So I have to rebuild it. 
let's see if I remember to... <laughs> Did I remember to put the thing in there this time? So that they'll make food. Terrible mood again, probably Jesse. Yep. She's bleeding, but she'll get treated. She'll be okay. If they get like an infection of a leg, you can give them a peg leg and that'll just take care of the infection, which is awesome. If it's anything else, then it's either gonna run its course or whatever. But she's gonna be okay. She doesn't have any infections right <laughs> And Snowball is eating the buffalo. Make the tailoring bench jupe for Fuda. That was Fuda, sorry. Thank you. Gosh, I wish I wish when you did that that they would finish it. Like actually finish the whole thing. Because we need clothes bad. And I always want to have like two or three around because what'll what they'll do is they'll put them on and then I'll have three extras and you know, if something wears out, then they'll just have it. Which is kind of nice. Well, Cole is butchering the meat. We're getting lots of leather. That's good. I just want to make sure that they uh, were marked so that they could use anything to make these things. So whatever we have, any leathers, any fur, anything. We just need clothes. Oh, oh look, we have kibble. We made some kibble. Oh. Why is he eating the... He's eating the... The meat. Oh, I'm putting in vents so that... Maybe the... That freezer area will be... Really super cold. From it being freezing out. <laughs> he's eating raw meat! He needs to cook the food! I did not tell... I did... I forgot to set the fire to make simple meals. <laughs> Warming up, having a chat. <laughs> Jupe, finish the door. I know you want to sleep, but if you finish the door, you can sleep all you want. Finish the door. Really? Thank you, Ju. Well, Jesse is uh, functional again. Yay! She she's building a turret. But we have no electricity. They'll still be able to use that door, but it'll it'll slow them down like a regular door until I can get electricity. I'm getting some electricity from the the wind turbines, but it's not getting in yet because they haven't they haven't laid down the the power conduits. Jesse's doing it. Yep, see she's she's mostly all better except for those parasites. Yay, we re 
research double strand. Ooh. Crap. Mental sp Jesse again. Of course. Beating up Fuda. Fuda put her down. It's okay. Fuda's a tough girl. <laughs> Electric cremation so we can burn bodies later. I'm not too worried about that right now. We more need the smelting. Ugh. And we have a cold snap. <sighs> Which is going to kill all of our crops. Which sucks. I should have told them to harvest it. Ugh. <laughs> See? If we'd have put her down. Someone will get her. It'll be fine. Her, she, she got a shattered rib. Her left ear is cut off. eating raw because I didn't add the bill I always forget to do that when they when the campfire goes out sometimes they remember to refuel the fire and sometimes they don't and it sucks when they don't because they won't continue to cook on their own they'll just eat the raw meat which puts them at greater risk of food poisoning and they don't like eating raw food my crops are dying. I should have harvested them. But I needed graves. Because I got bodies. Well, I got a body. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't want it like right next to my colony, but I didn't want it really that far either so that my people don't have to go forever away. And they really are happier when you bury people. Luckily with this cold, they'll just, you know, the bodies will just sit out there and won't spoil or anything and they'll just wait to be buried. Just like at a morgue. Bunny, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. We need your meat, rabbit. Give me your meat. There's no other aminals. They're all gone. We have killed them all or they have migrated away. And I still don't want to kill the muffalo because I'm still afraid that if I attack them somebody will die. Somebody will get hurt and die. Yeah, we can't get power when there just isn't any. There's no wind. It's negative 14 outside. And it's somewhat toasty inside. Jupe is making clothes, thank goodness. I love how the these hunters, when they're experienced hunters, they'll like get up against the rocks and hide while they're hunting. I think she had kibble on her. They, the people will eat the kibble if it's the only food available to them. They will eat it. It's not the best thing in the world, but when you got nothing else, they will eat it. I want to put in another brace because we have all these, all this compacted steel, but I don't want the roof to fall on Futa, like I said before. Yeah, I don't like that. 
I, only, I really only need one. Chichi is no longer incapable of walking. Because only, there's only part of that that has a roof over it. Not everything has a roof, so. See, rock. Rock roof. Thin. Snowballs eating the kibble. stockpile just for the kibble because then because I don't want snowball going in and eating the people food someone will feed her if she's hungry but I don't want her going in there and just consuming everything and then I'm like where's all the meat what happened to all the food oh snowball ate it same with the muffalo there's no food out there, eventually someone will feed the muffalo or the muffalo will find something to eat. <sighs> I wish the cold snap hadn't killed all my crops. It really sucks. And it's like the end of summer too, so it like we would have had a harvest. I'm gonna have to work on um making hydroponics areas or well not hydroponics but like an indoor area with a sun lamp to grow food and stuff because otherwise we're not gonna have enough food and my people will all starve I'll do all that off camera though so that Cole will make food. So we'll have a little bit of food that's unrestricted. I don't think you can make more right now because... Oh no! Marl has had a heart attack! I've never seen that before! Well, Cole's treating her and that's all I can do. I don't have a heart so I can't... I can't give her a new one. You can harvest organs and things from somebody who is dying, but you can't do anything once they're dead. The game doesn't let you, even though that would make sense, right? Well, I hope I hope she recovers because she's a really good colonist.
Cole is because Cole is kind of you know the stays at home kind of colonist in here. Um, because he's a doctor, you know. I I'm gonna have him do the stuff at home. Some little adjustments. We really are doing really well. I mean, despite the lack of food, the the somewhat lack of food right now. We do have those two stacks, so if we do run out of food, we can I can un I can make those available and at least get a meal so that they don't starve. They're all gone. But I gotta check. Because we really need the meat. Ooh, I found a bunny! <laughs> Once again, kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit. We need your meat, rabbit, we need your meat. Oh, I found another one! Well, that's something. Two more rabbits. That'll make a few more meals. It's nothing. Jesse again. <laughs> Getting her inside. Like ASAP. Right now. Move faster. Ugh. Come on, Jesse. Sounds like Marl is... Oh no, we got a raid! And right now the turret is taking care of it, which is awesome. let them handle it <laughs> and I can just have someone go out and fix it I'm gonna have her just come outside because I don't want her to attract the attention of the shooters are the tricksy ones and Gollum is about to die. She, she could just, she's protected by that wall so she can just go ahead and fix it and not get killed. Ta-da! Bye-bye, Johnny. 
We got more food, we got a gun. We got something else. I don't know what weapon that guy had. Girl, no wait, that's Snowball. I don't know why Snowball's sleeping outside. She'll sleep inside. I'm gonna make another zone that's like indoors because it's so cold out right now. I don't want Snowball to die just because it's cold. Small pets. Because if you have larger dogs, um,. You know, they'll haul and stuff and they'll be fine. But the the small pets, like Snowball, just keep them inside. I need to edit the zone. She can just stay in this one room. No, I don't want her I don't want her potentially in with prisoners. But she'll be fine inside like that, so... Well, we really are... I think we're in a really good place. Nobody's dying. Well, Marl has the, the, had the heart attack, but she's not dying yet. Got the bunny marked. Let's check one more time. For anything else that might be on the map. Hoping to find one, but squirrel, rabbit, something. Oh, sorry if you can hear music. That's my downstairs neighbor. I found a dead rabbit. It's been dead for a while, but maybe we can make it. I'll allow uh, rotten. Kind of need all the food. We'll just allow all. But other than that, we're in pretty good shape. I think it's good as we can expect, based on it being negative 19 degrees Fahrenheit out. So take it easy, and remember to smile.